And you know, Southern bastard pastor Greg Mott, okay, of the First Baptist Church in Houston, the largest SBC church here in Houston, he denounced the NIV version in 2012. In 2012, Greg Mott said, we're not going to use the most recent version of the NIV because it's gone gender neutral. He says, that's, at least they were like, that's too wicked. That's too bad because it's not even using he and she. It's using like them and it and whatever. Okay, non-gender pronouns. Well, so they decided they're going to go to the Holman Christian Standard Bible then. They're not going to use the NIV anymore. They're going to go to this Holman Christian Standard. So then he has been taken out of a, a lot of quotes about this because he got a lot of press coverage that he was announcing this Bible version. Well, he says why he likes the Holman Christian Standard Bible so much more. He says the pastor thinks the updated translation has gotten away from the original biblical text and other examples. So he's saying, I don't really want to use the NIV because they have other problems that the Holman Christian Standard Bible has fixed. So here's some of the problems of the NIV. He says that they were using the word servants instead of slaves in the New Testament. So Greg Mott, I mean, they can't get away from the racist roots. They're bastards from the beginning. They're bastards now. They're still racist. He says, well, I really like it when it uses the word slaves in the New Testament. The NIV, they didn't like that so much. Now, in your King James Bible, the word slave or slaves is used twice. Two times, okay? And it's basically like one time in Revelation is talking about Babylon, and it's just saying how these people are bringing in slaves into Babylon, a very negative connotation, okay? The NIV used the word slaves or slave 181 times. But that wasn't enough for Greg Mott. I mean, Greg Mott, he wanted to pump up them slaves. And the Holman Christian Standard Bible, it uses the word slave or slaves 314 times. I mean, it is filled with slaves. Slave here, slave there. Man, they got to get back to their roots. They got to get back to those origins. So let's get some good verses, you know, from here. Go to Matthew chapter 13. Matthew chapter 13. In your King James Bible, it says, So the servants of the householder came and said unto him, Sir, didst not thou sow good seed in thy field? From whence then hath it tares? So in the beginning, he says, Hey, there's some servants of the householder. In the Holman Christian Standard Bible, it says the landowner's slaves came to him. Oh, man, the landowner's slaves. Well, I guess those that have land are the, you know, the, the Jews, and the non-landowners, those are the heathen. Those are the people that we can put insert into a slavery. How about this verse, Matthew 25? Master said unto him, Well done, good and faithful slave. Isn't that what you want God to say to you when you get up into heaven? Well done, thou good and faithful slave. Greg Mott is literally saying that there, he's so glad that the Holman Christian Standard Bible changed these verses to say this. Instead of saying, Well done, thou good and faithful servant. A, va a verse that people love and quote and know. He should have said slave, though. I mean, that's what Greg Mott thinks. That's what Greg Mott wants. Slaves obey your human masters in everything. What kind of, reading this type of book, I would think you'd become racist. I mean, it's just slave here, slave there, slave that. Look at 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 17. For we are not as many which corrupt the word of God, but as of sincerity. But as of God, in the sight of God, speak we in Christ. So he says, look, there's a lot of people corrupting the word of God. But what does the Holman Christian Standard Bible say there? For we are not like the many who market God's message for profit. Is that, does that say corrupt? They say they're not selling it. But you know, the thing is, if you go to First Baptist Church in Houston, Greg Mott's church, guess what you can buy? The Holman Christian Standard Bible. And they have this note. They say, actually... You can buy more than just books. The inventory at Corner Books is strategically selected to support the mission of the church, and on our shelves you will find all of Pastor Greg's previous messages are available on CD. You can even pick up a copy of his message on the day he delivers it at the Instant Messages Center. So not only can you buy their Bibles and books, hey, you can get their sermons if you pay. Not only that, it says you can buy the various styles of their Holman Christian Standard Bible. Oh, how great. There are not many which, you know, sell the Word of God, except they are. Except that's how you get it. You have to buy it from them. You literally have to buy it to get one. Now, how many people have bought a Bible in our church? 
I'm, I'm pretty sure they're for free on the back table. I'm pretty sure you didn't pay a dollar for them, a cent for them. Why? Because we don't sell anything in the house of God. We're not out to sell the truth. We're going to buy the truth and sell it not. I'm going to buy Bibles for you, and then we're not going to sell them to anybody. 